what up what up everybody it's your boy cg back at you guys again with another crypto video uh it's been really quiet today nothing much going on in the market everybody's just getting prepared for the upcoming bitcoin fork into bitcoin gold and then the following ethereum fork um i think it's byzantinium byzantinium or metropolis uh not too sure i'm gonna look more into it probably tomorrow for tomorrow's um daily wrap-up vid or whatever it is i may be looking at but for right now i'm gonna do a little coin overview for a coin to actually hit rank 17 on coin cmc quite recently i've been interested in it as far as what's going on with it you know how did it break through to the top 20 so fast and easily you know and then it has a crazy circulating supply like this so you know of course i'm gonna ask questions so this is cardano acronyms ada right now cardano was down negative 1.83 percent it's at two cents market cap at a little bit over half a million with a 24-hour trade of volume of 5.5 million and a circulating supply of 25.9 total supply of 31.1 and a max supply of 45 million total so i'm guessing the max supply well not guessing as a matter of fact um i was actually informed by um an associate of mine's how it would actually work as far as the max and total supply and then you know i looked into it some some more of my own and i was enlightened that you know the max and total supply total supply is actually the total supply in that's going to be um in circulation as far as that and then anything beyond that is going to be considered a part of the max supply because I'm guessing that you can either stake Cardano ADA. That's more than likely how it works. When you see these, more than likely it's either a stake coin or you can mine it. You know, so total supply is basically before mining, essentially. That's how much supply of Cardano there is in total before any mining or staking. And then max supply is the max amount of Cardano that will ever be in existence post mining. You guys can come down here. As you guys know, like I was saying just now, um, Cardano was pretty recent on CMC coming out. It actually came out at two cents with an all time high being. Let me see. All time high of three, three cents, practically four, almost four. And then we had a sell wall, and then it's just a channel. And then this is just what Cardano's been doing. So it's been just, you know, fluctuating inside this um, corridor right here. Um, support lines being right here, clearly, as you guys can see, it never really goes below this level except in this one instance but support's been pretty um pretty much the same as far as whenever it hits its lows other than right here where this was you know this was a given you know considering the major dump after it reached its highs people flipped their money you know tripled their money whatever their goal was and that was kind of you know to be expected that it would dump that low but support is definitely right here as far as you guys who don't really understand how support lines work support is right here it is just been staying within the support guidelines on well, corridor i mean all right right here you guys can come over here to um, market you can acquire cardano on bitrex that's another thing you can acquire it on bitrex and you know bitrex usually takes years to um not even say years that's an over that's an over exaggeration but bitrex usually takes a really long time to you know list coins especially a fresh practically brand new coin on the market so that's kind of weird well hey you know it's life whatever i guess you know probably they had some type of collaboration with bitrex behind the scenes you guys can follow them on cardano stiff tongue stiff tongue i don't know how you would say that stiff tongue well more into what cardano actually is cardano as with all cryptocurrencies is a digital form of payment that will guarantee um cryptographic um transactions um they're gonna be fat you know just basically the the regular cryptocurrency script when it comes to fat you know fast payment so on and so forth they say that everything in cardano is based off science though everything is approached from a scientific um method method 
Man, I'm, this word's not coming out of my mouth. Scientific methods. Let's just say, like, scientific methods. The scientific process behind how Cardano actually works, the blockchain actually operates. We have a video right here that you guys can check out as well with Cardano. You guys know I'm a video person, so let's look at it. The Cardano protocol is our first major product that we'll be releasing starting in December of 2016. It's a really exciting product. It's a multi-layered protocol that has a settlement control and application domain, and it's targeted towards um, gaming applications. However, it gives us the ability to actually talk about things like financial inclusion in the developing world, uh, talk about how to achieve uh, low latency systems with blockchains, which is a very difficult thing, as well as uh, next generation smart contracting. Uh, so we're working in a massive global team, uh, currently in six countries. We have people in the Isle of Man, people in uh, uh, Argentina, people in Austria, people in Ukraine, St. Petersburg, Russia, and Japan. And this federation of actors has come together to create Cardano. Always when you have an emerging field, whether you're uh, Linus Torvalds creating Linux or you're Bram Cohen creating BitTorrent, you, you bring this amazing ad hoc innovation to the ecosystem. However, the definitions, the pedagogy, the kind of notion of what are the boundary conditions of that field are not well understood. So usually what occurs is academia takes this topic and they spend a few years thinking about it and then they kind of formalize things and build proper foundations. Now cryptocurrencies in particular are extremely interesting because they're interdisciplinary. They take distributed systems and mechanism design and cryptography amongst other fields and they couple them all together. Uh, because of this complexity, we cannot rely on academia alone to be able to find all the major results. It requires governments, industry, not-for-profits, as well as major universities to work together. So IOHK is in a unique position where we have the ability to subsidize a very big research division. So what we want to do is kind of create like, uh, like uh, the Xerox PARC or the, uh, or the SRI of cryptocurrencies where we can create a group that focuses on the science of cryptocurrencies, get the definitions done, the boundary conditions done, but also has the ability to go beyond just cryptography and think about the social implications, the legal implications, the political implications. And everything we do is open source. We release all the papers in the open domain. We don't pursue patents or intellectual property. And we love collaborating with every actor, whether they be not-for-profit or for-profit or university. Whether you guys have it, he stated that a lot more eloquently than I was putting it. <laughs> I don't know what was going on today. My head's messed up. I'm a little sick still. So, yeah, I'm still in the recovery phase. So, excuse my English and my grammar. But, yeah, essentially, Cardano, from what I gather, is going to be, you know, at its core, essentially what most cryptocurrencies do. Fast transactions, privacy, but on another level they actually have it so that Cardano can easily in future iterations fork itself so that it can actually start building on top of its blockchain so they actually want to include like government regulations they, they want it to be regulation friendly while still also respecting the cryptocurrency space essentially so it's kind of interesting you know the fact that they would may take that approach Although it is um, a good approach because, you know, that's the direction everything is going in. And I wouldn't be surprised to see a lot of um, outside investor funding coming into this. You know, like actual like centralized um, centralized entities getting into Cardano. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw that some type of partnerships in that way just because of how they're trying to go about things. Um, anything else on Cardano? You guys can come and see the Slack down here, Twitter. I already mentioned that. Their Facebook, Reddit, and their YouTube. So you guys can definitely check that out. Man, people just keep texting me. But yeah, that's about it for Cardano, everybody. Let's see here. Um, in other news, Russia, if you guys didn't know, now you know don't know now you know Russian government to launch cryptocurrency education now this doesn't necessarily mean that Russia is all the way 100% there 
as far as trying to um, regulate cryptocurrencies for actual everyday use they still are in that that gray area where they're wondering what path to go down but they still feel the need to educate their citizens on it because it is an ever growing um ever growing investment people are getting more and more interested every day it's spreading like crazy people are asking more and more questions and they don't know what to do and you know people are just throwing their money into the space with promises from friends of how things work and they don't know the first thing about cryptocurrencies so russia is actually making their efforts making their own efforts to educate their citizens actually plan on running this project from um 2018 beginning to 2023 now that actually says a lot if you really think about that date that time frame that says that they honestly do see cryptocurrencies in a big run up as far as popularity for the next four to five years 2018 and 2023 you want to need to educate your people on something till 2023 if you planned to just ignore it altogether you know what i mean so this actually does tell you that they are considering cryptocurrencies as stores of value you know albeit they do have their um stipulations i'm guessing still where you may have to be an accredited investor to actually get involved in the space but hey as far as i'm concerned if you can make a coinbase account you can navigate an exchange, you're an accredited investor. As far as I'm concerned right now, we might as well all be accredited, accredited investors. This isn't financial advice, though. Just, just letting all y'all know, this is not a, an actual accredited investor. <laughs> you know, I'm just, you know, play on words, you know, double entendre. But, yeah, so it's good to see Russia making that um, move towards educating its people. This is going to lead to a lot more interest in cryptocurrency space. Less fear as well, because depending on how they educate them and what they show them, this can really be groundbreaking because, you know, a lot of people never quite understood how cryptocurrencies work before. So for Russia to take this step, you know, towards educating their citizens, that's pretty awesome, you know. If only the United States would follow suit. I'm pretty sure China not necessarily is following suit, but, you know, they're taking their own measures against cryptocurrencies in the form of regulation because, you know, the Chinese are money hungry. They don't need to know something. They just need to know what makes the money, <laughs> you know, and that their people aren't getting scammed or aren't just magically getting rich out of nowhere and throwing the power balance out of nowhere, you know, out of a the power balance out of whack, you know. Um, but yeah, that's about it for today, everybody. Not much going on. Uh, that's it. This is work CG. I'll be back with you guys tomorrow. I'll probably talk about what's going on with the upcoming Bitcoin fork and Ethereum fork. You know, explain it to you guys a little bit better for those of you who are watching and don't really understand it, missed the last fork, or didn't quite understand what was going on in the last fork, and you know, you got you winged it. And you either lucked up or lucked out. But yeah, that's it for now. This is your boy CG. I'll come at you guys tomorrow with some more crypto information and videos. Peace, I'm out.